All right, there's the dog, Kryptonauts. There's Rocco the taco dog. All right. So let's do a grow tent update. We got the grow tent outtake working. We got the tape on there. We've got the fiberglass board in there with the nicely cut out eight inch uh, radius for the uh, exhaust. I took off the, um, let's turn this fan down. Oh, it is down. Wait, no, it isn't. Let's turn that. Here's the variable speed fan from Viva Sun. Um, I took off the outer cover plate, the grill, the louver on this uh, duct because it was causing back like a wall, a dam, and the, there was not free flow. I took that thing off. Man, my temperatures dropped by 10 or so degrees in here. And this, this thing wasn't cooking as much. This is just now normal temperature. It's not too bad at all. Got these all taped up because these will slide off even with the metal bracket clamps. Because just the force of air, this thing pushes, you know, pushes some air through here. And it'll pop right off and then you'll be blowing it in your house and or your room, wherever you're at. Same thing here, duct work. I tried to keep the bends minimum. That's why I put it right by the window here to go right out. Short, short runs right outside. Uh, you get a little radiant heating off the top here, like a kind of like a little wood, wood stove action. I got some boards here. There's some metal rods under here inside I'll show you. And then I got just some little plywood pieces for the fan motor to sit on. It works. It's, it's not secure, but it works. You know, it does what it, it does. It does, a, it does the job. Here we go looking inside. Got the screen off. I've got this one open. I had duct tubing in here, but eh, I just got rid of it. It's, you still suck air in this way. And you can see the dust collecting here on the intake. This is kind of a mesh. And I got the other one blocked off because I want the air to go from bottom left through and up and out. Kablamo out the old exhaust. Let's open this up. One just only one problem I've had with the tent, I think I've mentioned it, is the back zipper liner right here. It may get caught. It has been getting caught in the zipper part and then it, it might be it'll be it'll be jammed up. So you gotta just don't rip it open. You'll get it snagged and you'll be like cursing like oh god. Because it's a pain to get it unstuck. You gotta pull it through the uh, zipper part. All right, here we go with the grow tent. Here's the uh, DIY, DIY wood frame for 14 bucks <laughs> we put together versus, you can go to Amazon and spend 250 bucks on a rig frame. Go ahead. Uh, here's an, a Walmart special wire rack. And this is my two first rigs. This is the 63080 Ti's LHR, yeah, LHR, but they're pushing out close to 90 hashes each running the latest T-Rex miner and the uh, absolute core lock setting. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. And before that, these three uh, Re Republic of Gaming Strix 3080s were pumping out heat, chewing up over 300 watts of power. Now they're uh, like under 300 and they're not over like, the worst they get is 70 Celsius before, man, they things would get hot. I didn't know what was going on. I, I, it was just above me. So I, again, you got to keep trying stuff. These uh, little fans I have, LED ones, those are just for show. They, I mean, they move air, but really, are they doing anything? No. Uh, I, it kind of is an indicator to me that the thing's powered up. There's the uh, 470 Gaming Plus with the risers, and I got the one to four splitter, and I only got what? Two coming out? So there's three. No, I got three coming out. Oh, no, I see what I did. I forget, man. You forget quickly. Three, and then I got the one in the four, and I got one. So I got three, two coming out of there, and then one off the last just to see if that last slot worked. This uh, third one, I just, I don't know if I fried it or it just doesn't recognize anything. So I just took whatever worked, worked, would work, and I put that splitter in. So three, four, five, six cards. Six is good enough for me. I'm happy with that. Temperatures. When I got the fan blasting, it's like 90. Where's my light? Hold on, guys. Kablamo, 96. Uh, with I run the fan low and it gets warm outside, the ambient temperature, it'll get 101 or something in this tent. Here's the exhaust. I just have it straight up. 
this is sealed off this one's open down here for cables to come through and then this back grill is uh this back grill is i have it blocked off because again i want the airflow to go left bottom and up and if you put your hand down here of course you know heat rises it's a lot cooler and it goes right on up here's my other rig this is everything in it this is my 2013 gaming pc i built uh, year, like you said, 2013, and it has an Ashrock motherboard, which is awesome, man. This thing had no problems accepting six cards. No BIOS configuration needed. No, I just, bam, just hooked this thing up, and it recognized them and, and ready to rock. So, man, the older technology is is uh, is a winner to me. And I got two one-to-four splitters in there. Total of six cards. A hodgepodge, a 1660, 1660 Super, 3060... 3060 Ti, just anything I get your hands on, because it's hard to get GPUs and without spending way above MSRP. And I, yeah, you got to watch that. Here's a little wood riggy. Uh, this is an Asus motherboard, and I got three on here. Uh, and this was the same issue where I had to disable the CSM compatibility support module in the BIOS for it to recognize even the third GPU. But on here, I have a mix of uh, 3060 Ti, 6600 Red Devil. And that's a Hellhound. That's not a Red Devil. That's a Hellhound. I'll show you Red Devil. Oh, here's a Red Devil. Red Devil's right here. So I got them running. So what do we got? Oh, I don't know. 12, like 15 cards and a bunch of crap in here. It's a 15, not many. I mean, a lot of people have a lot more. But I'm not, I, I don't want to go totally broke yet until I start churning out some money. But right now the crypto markets are down so it's like uh what's going on here so uh that's where we're at this is a vivo sun brand i believe i purchased this yes i purchased this direct from their site the vivo sun and it came and and that's all i got from their site and i got the thermometer from amazon and i got the variable speed fan unit inline fan from Amazon as well and all the links are down in the description if you have trouble finding have trouble finding what I what I'm using and here you go it's just variable speed there's not much difference I mean it, it is what it is right it goes oh sorry low to high obviously if you can hear that hold on let's see and you can't hear it because the mic but most of the noise is just really from the wind rushing, obviously, the tunnel. It's not the fan itself. Uh, what do we got? This one's closed up. We got little holders here. I need a light. Little holder there. Here's the frame cross members they give you. And that is there to support whatever's on top. And it works pretty well. Little, you can see little, they kind of overlap. And there's up here I got, got the plywood piece, thermometers hanging. Uh, I did clean this out because you will see, maintenance-wise, you'll see dust particles and everything. Yeah, I can see it right now again. I don't want to blow. What am I doing? Yeah, see the dust I drew in it? It's like your dirty car. So the, the stuff still gets in here, even with the mesh. Well, that's open, too. But you got to do some maintenance on these things, and the cards will start getting it. If you look at the bottom grills, it seems to collect on the bottom because the air is coming up. So it seems to, on the on the on the um, heat sink part on the grill, you'll see the dust accumulating. But everywhere else, it's clean, so it should make maintenance pretty easy. I blew them out once, but you need um, the compressed, high compressed air to get all the particles out, and that will definitely help with heating and cooling. Yeah, that one's collecting on the bottom. So the stuff, I mean, the airflow is definitely going up, so it's collecting on the bottom. Uh, but that's pretty cool. These things are gold. I love these. Um, HP power supplies, but I also like the uh, typical EVGA power supplies as well. So pretty cool, but it's nice to split them out. You know, you got this one I have everything on because this is a thousand watt puppy, and I knew I wasn't putting much on yet, so I'm just going to run them all off this power supply. It's a gold EVGA, but down here, oh, and this is an old 750 Corsair on the 2013 gaming PC. And on this, I put the HP as well. This carries all the GPUs right there uh, for cooling. Since it's a box, 
I took the back cover, both covers off. The outside, both outside covers are off. So really it's just a metal frame holding the motherboard and the area is coming up through, which is nice. So it's not just one big brick blocking all the airflow. That's what I got going on there. All right, lessons learned or what would I've done differently? Gotten longer uh, cat cables. Would have gotten a um, more ports on my uh, network switch. I only got five. So I would have got more of that. I would have gotten a taller Home Depot baker's rack like this. This one I, got, I just got like a week or two ago. I would have put that inside the grow tent. It would have just, I would have put this shelf lower, this top one, because it would be touch, it would be like right here, top of the zipper. So you lower that down. And I probably would have done that, put one of these racks in versus these two. It would have just made for a cleaner look. And maybe, you know what, yeah, I could definitely would have been, I could put more in capacity wise. Right now I'm kind of limited. I'll probably have to build another wood rack to stick on top of this one and then be done with the grow tent, uh, maxing it out. Or, you know, it depends how many GPUs you get. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how far I'm going to go with this. The goal is to get to one giga hash. I'm about 900 giga hash now. I mean 900 giga hash. I'm at 900 mega hash. Holy crap. I'm at a 900 mega hash and I want to get to one giga hash. But uh, right now with Christmas and everything, I'm kind of trying to get a couple more 6600s to fill out this rig. I want to get, I got this red devil up here all by himself running. And that's because I ran out of connectors at the time. These splitters, these white ones. And I thought I had more. I thought I got more in. Oh, I did. All right. I didn't get the white ones. I got the basic ones from Parallel Miner. I didn't get their fancy uh, white ones from... Where, they, where are these from? GPU risers? I can't remember. Um, I'll have to look that up. But these cost a lot more money, and the other ones are just fine. The typical black and yellow from Parallel Miner. Again, you got to be careful who you buy them from. Not all manufacturers are the same. So that's it. That's the plan. I'm going to fill this out with 6600s. Uh, XTs, and I'll have three. I'm gonna get. I got one more coming. I found for like 600 bucks. I know, a little pricey, uh, but that's the best you can get. So I got one. Yeah, I want to get three more. But I could take this 3060 out since he's the one-off, and I could put him isolated on the motherboard and just make this a pure 6600 XT rack. Yeah. All right, that's it. The grow tent works. If you're hesitant about it, it's best 89 bucks plus the fancy. So you're under 150 bucks, and even the even the ducting, it's well worth it. If you're putting it in anywhere, um, if you don't have the space to ventilate, I mean, if if you don't want your room or your house or your basement to just overheat, uh, get one of these. It's going to minimize it, and ambient temperature plays a huge part. If you're in a colder state, you're going to love winter times, but if you're like in a Florida you know, where I'm at, uh, you're kind of at the moderate temperature, you know, you're always going to be above 70 most days, um, 70, 75, 80. So the tent works. And uh, when we had some cold days here, like 70s, it was beautiful. You just open a window and uh, you can just even just run the fan on super low and your house will stay fine. It's, it's awesome. So get the tent. I don't know what brands are out there. Vivo Sun's the one I got. I'm perfectly happy with it for the price and the fan. Uh, what else would I do? Like I said, other than the rack, everything worked out perfectly with the window exhaust. Intake wouldn't work for me because I'd be sucking in humid, maybe sal salinic, uh, salinic, is that a word? Salt air? I don't want to do that. So I'd rather just keep it on the inside and uh, the uh, fresh air coming from the inside and not trying to grab outside air. It's, it's just not going to work for me. Uh, what else? Uh, perfectly fine. Go with it. If you have any hesitation, just get it. And you'll thank yourself. You won't be in your room sweating. Like I said, I even had this little 3070 Ti sitting right next to my desk. And I was going, why am I hot? And this little puppy's putting out some meat. So I just moved it over to the rack to get away from me. It just shows you how these GPUs, getting into this, you don't realize the amount of heat. You see people just talking like, oh my God, they're like little space heaters. So that's a big concern. That's why these tents are gold. So go Vivo Zone, thanks. Uh, pretty cool stuff. The only one other complaint I have, I wish this cord was longer from the inline fan because I this is what I hate. I have an extension cord, a heavy-duty 
even though it doesn't draw much, but I, I still got a heavy duty contractor extension cord. And it's not the prettiest, but it works, right? All right, guys, that's it. That's all I want to do is uh, give you a grow tent update. And that's where we are right now. And uh, right now I'm kind of hovering. I got to get some more cards. I want to get to that one giger hash and then call that a milestone for uh, 2021. And then next year start seeing where we want to go. I did put some extra funds, like I said, into some CPU mining just to have it ready and see if I'm going to get anything out of it. Raptorium kind of has slid a bit, but I'm still stacking them. Stacking those Raptorium coins, I'll hold those things. But Ethereum, I'm cashing out. When I cannot cash out, I'm moving it to my wallets and getting interest on it in Voyager, which I did a video on. You can get rewards on your crypto at Voyager and BlockFi, but Voyager is better, better rates, and they seem to be uh, really into the rewards uh, program. I love it. Uh, the Bitcoin I do mine, I use ETH hash algorithm, going to nice hash, and I do the payout to Coinbase because it's free. There's no fees, there's no GUI, there's no gas fee, it's boom. But now it's in Coinbase, just sitting there. It's not making any interest or anything. So that might be the one that pays the bills. You know, take a couple hundred bucks here, hundred bucks there, pay off some of this uh, parts and all this crap. But uh, that adds up. So that's why I go cheap, wood frame, uh, Home Depot frame. I'd rather spend 26 bucks and build a wood rock for 14 bucks than spend 250 bucks on a fancy looking metal frame. I don't need it. I just want the stuff to work. I'll maintain them, keep them clean. And that's it right now. I'm not trying to win a beauty contest. So I'm just trying to get this all working, prove to myself this is viable and then go with it. So I think I got a good foundation right now to learn from, mix of cards, mix of motherboards. And that's why I'm putting out these videos too, just to help chronologue what I'm doing. And uh, I can refer back to it and kind of make my make a little um, how to, how I did it, how I learned, how others are doing it. And learn from you guys too, because I get some great comments and uh, messages. Hey, do this, try this, bam. Just give me 12 more hashes. You know, <laughs> thank you. I didn't know I could do that. All right, good oh, guys. All right, guys, man, that is all I got. I got to go find that dog, take him out. I'm going to zip this back up because even though we're at 91, it's getting 91 out here. So, you know, the air is going out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I got to get in here and vacuum this up. It's almost, I think, planned, man, I don't know, a month, monthly maintenance or maybe bi-weekly maintenance just to vacuum out the bottom part with a little brush. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do because it is starting to accumulate. And you want to keep that crap off your fans, off your GPUs as much as possible for heating issues. And I'll do another video. I found a great article on why your GPUs are overheating. Common sense if you've been around it a while, but some people just don't know. Oh, that's an issue. Yeah, I didn't know some of the stuff like the thermal paste. Oh, geez. Okay, something else to worry about. So I'm going to do an overview or read up on that article just so you guys know what's out there. And I'll learn too. That's the whole point of it. I'm no expert. Um, just learning as I go. All right, I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. That helps the old YouTube YouTube overlords. And uh, go ahead and share it. And uh, check out the Discord. I've been putting some product hits, alerts out there. I kind of will go out and monitor some GPUs I want. And when they come in stock, I'll send out a message to Discord, like an alert. And I'll do that on, um, what's that other thing? Telegram as well. And it kind of helps me like, hey, this is in stock. And I even play around. I put a PS5 out there once and went, oh, my God, I got a notice from Amazon. PS5 is available. I didn't buy it, but it's kind of neat that that works. It's just a simple script. So it's kind of cool. So that's out there for interest in that stuff. And I put all my videos and my uh, overclock stuff. And, I mean, again, it's just kind of FYI reference. And then people can add to it or make comments and say, no, you did it all wrong. You did it all right. Whatever. It's just it is what it is. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I'm out. Bye.